This represents solar energy produced worldwide, wind energy and hydroelectric energy. The true queen of renewables is hydroelectric energy, although it might not be the first one that comes to mind. Well, let's take a glimpse of what's unfolding in Australia. Water is sourced from the reservoir atop the mountain at approximately 1,230 metres above sea level. It flows through a 27 kilometre tunnel carved through the rock. It takes a dramatic 690 metre plunge and resurfaces in the lower water reservoir at about 540 metres above sea level. In the midst of this journey, deep within the heart of the mountain, lies the generation of energy powered by the flowing water. This is Snowy 2.0, the largest renewable energy project under construction in Australia. In fact, it is an expansion of an existing hydroelectric system that will increase the electricity generation capacity from 4.1 to 6.3 gigawatts. To give you an idea, the two biggest coal-powered thermal power stations set to be shut down in the coming decade in the state of New South Wales produce 5.5 gigawatts in total. In this video, we'll show you how the construction of such a complex project takes place and explain why 27 kilometres of tunnels are excavated in a mountain range to connect two man-made reservoirs. The first step involves excavation of the initial section of the tunnel, starting from the upper reservoir, the Tantengara. The tunnel has a diameter of 10 metres, a height equivalent to a three-storey building, making it the world's largest for its kind. To achieve this, they use a TBM, which stands for Tunnel Boring Machine. It's a kind of giant drill capable of eating through solid rock at a speed of 15 metres per day. We've already created a detailed video explaining how TBMs work. I'll leave it here in the description. Feel free to check it out if you want to learn more. Let's just say that the TBM is impressive. It effectively performs three tasks in one. Excavating, removing rock debris, and placing precast concrete segments that serve as the tunnel's walls. For the tunnels of the Snowy 2.0 project, a total of three TBMs are used, and one of them is among the world's longest, measuring approximately 211 metres, nearly the length of two soccer fields placed end to end. After the initial 17 kilometres through the rock, the water passes through the inclined tunnel that descends into the mountain with a difference in altitude of 600 metres. From here, the water flows at high speed and reaches the hydroelectric power station, the heart of Snowy 2.0, at approximately 800 metres underground. Consider that with a volume of 523,000 cubic metres, it could fit one entire Sydney Opera House in it and it is the largest power station ever excavated at these depths. Here, turbines, generators and transformers are housed tasked with converting kinetic energy into mechanical and then electrical energy, channeling it into the power grid. As for the water, where does it go? The water traverses the final stretch of the tunnel, emerging into the Talbinga Reservoir. But this power station, Snowy 2.0, has a unique feature. It's called a pump storage scheme. What does this term pumped mean? In practice, the turbines serve a dual purpose. Not only do they generate energy as water flows from top to bottom, but the same turbines also rotate in reverse to pump the water from the lower basin back to the upper one. Since there are periods when renewable energy generation exceeds the demand, there's a risk of waste. So, the solution devised was simple. With that surplus energy, we can pump the water back up to the top reservoir, enabling us to release it and generate electricity when needed. What's the advantage? This way, we have access to a renewable, on-demand energy source that's always available. It's an ingenious system. This is in contrast to other intermittent renewable sources like wind, which isn't always available. Consider that by pumping water into the upper basin up to its maximum capacity, 
Approximately 350,000 megawatt hours can be generated, enough to power the equivalent of 500,000 homes during peak demand for over a week. I would like to thank WeBuild, the Italian group constructing this project, who made this video possible. They are involved in building major infrastructure projects worldwide and in Italy, including the construction of the new subway in Rome. We made a video about it. Thank you all for following us till the end. I'll see you in the next video, right here on Geopop. Science in everyday life. Bye.